my name is Prashant and today I am going to show you how we can use TF Ignore in our Visual Studio 2019. So I am just starting my Visual Studio 2019. So once my Visual Studio has started, I will open a solution which I have created for this demo. So this solution is added in source control. It is like I have got Azure DevOps running in my system. So here you can see this is my Azure DevOps and this is the skill management portal. So if you go in the post you should be able to see what I have got. So I've got a main branch over here. I've got one database folder where the backup is there and one SMS F folder. So the real problem which I'm going to take care of is like suppose if I want to add a new NuGet NuGet package in my application. So I'm saying manage NuGet packages. And if I say log for net, and if I install this log for net, then in my team foundation server, what is going to happen is like I will be seeing this packages folder in my pending changes list. So if you see over here, it has put this in the uh, this packages folder in my pending changes list. So I don't want this to happen. So like packages folder should never be checked in in source control. So for this to configure, what I will be doing is like let me first remove this log for net. I will also be going to the particular folder for this solution and make sure that packages folder is not present over here. So let me remove this. So for uh, resolving this, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to go in Team Explorer. One more thing I need to take care is like if you are trying to add a TF ignore file after you have got uh, added all those packages in your application, then it is very much important that is like after you have all added all the packages or like the files you need to restart visual studio so what i will be doing is i will going to my team explorer let me go to home source control explorer i will going be going to my solution level so this is like the packages that was added so let me remove this first. Let me see undo pending changes. Yeah, so my packages folder is here. So what I will be doing is like I will be creating a new folder over here. The folder name will be dot new get. And I will be creating a file XML file that is like nuget.config file which will tell that uh, these packages folder should not be added in source control so over here what I will do is I will simply say add new file I need to add a XML file so I will open it 
to for configuring this what I need to do is I need to put these all inside configuration after that I need a solution and this I am going to say add key is equal to disable source control integration and the value should be and the value should be true right I will be saving this file inside my dot nuget folder which I created just now and I will be naming this file as nuget.config so I have got this file in place for me now what I will do is I will go to the solution level and over here what I will do is I will right click and add a new file new item and I will add a new simple text file and I will say tf ignore dot tf ignore so dot tf ignore file I am simply going to add packages so let me do one thing now I have saved my changes I will restart Visual Studio So my project is loading up. So let me just make sure that I'm not getting any pending changes for my Nugget package. So here you can see that we don't have any pending changes for those NuGet package. We have got this .tf ignore file and NuGet add. Right. So right now what I will do is I will simply go to the solution explorer. I will right click over here and say manage NuGet packages. Go to the browse and search for log for net. let me install the latest table version so it is also installing the other nugget dependencies so now if i go in my team explorer and see that there are no packages folder added over here so this is how like we configure TF ignore file in our Visual Studio 2019 for our applications. Thanks for watching the video.